What's up everybody and welcome back and today I have another tech tip for you and it's how to get your drone into DFU mode using the old school method of holding the boot button in and plugging it into Betaflight. So if this is the video for you, get your drone, a USB cable and your computer ready and let's get started. Now you may be asking why do you need to use the old school way when you can just go into Betaflight and hit the DFU command or the bootloader command or even now you can hit the firmware flasher and it'll automatically put it into DFU mode for you but sometimes that option won't work and one of the most common things is you're in there messing with the settings and you hit reset all settings and that actually locks your board out and you won't be able to connect through the computer you only see VTX lights lighting up on your Tiny Hawk so the first thing you're gonna want to do is identify where your boot button is and on all our Tiny Hawk models the boot button is located near the USB port so if you look down in there you'll see a little button and next to it it'll say boot sometimes you might not be able to see it or it'll be hard Hard to push with something while you're trying to plug it into the computer so you may have to disassemble your drone a little bit so you can get in there and push it with something non-metallic while you plug it into Betaflight. So I'm going to take my Tiny Hawk 2 race here and I'm going to disassemble it a little bit and take the top canopy off so I can show you exactly what the boot button looks like and that way it's easier for me to hold it down while we're plugging it into the computer. Alright so now I have our canopy off and you can see the board clearly right here and I'm just going to show you what the concern I was talking about where the VTX will only light up by itself. Uh, when you plug the drone in, you're going to notice that you're only going to get the VTX commands and you won't get the red or blue flashing light that's on the board. So if we plug both of our batteries in, you'll notice that only our VTX is lighting up. It's going to go through a sequence of blue flashing lights, green flashing lights, then red, and then it's going to go dead. So now I have no lights whatsoever on my board. So this is where you're gonna have to use the DFU mode. Now let me unplug it real quick. And I have the drone unplugged. I'm gonna now identify where my boot button is. And what I'd like to do is actually plug it into the board first, because this is the hardest part to plug in. And then, once I have it plugged into the board, we're gonna go ahead and take my other end here. And as soon as I hold down the boot button, we're going to go ahead and plug that other end into the computer. And you should be able to see in beta flight here that DFU is going to pop up in your top drop down menu in the top right. And that means you're in DFU mode and you're able to flash. So let me go ahead and give that a try now. Holding the boot button and I'm plugging it into the computer. And as you can see, just like I said, it went to DFU mode. Now after it's in DFU mode, you can go ahead and hit the update firmware and go ahead and select the firmware that's specific for your drone. And if you guys don't know where that is, make sure to go to our knowledge base and you can go to our website under the customer support tab and it'll lead you right to the knowledge base. So you can find all the firmwares and CLI commands that you're gonna need to reflash it and set up on your drone. All right guys, and that was pretty much it, how to put your drone into DFU mode using the bootloader button. And if you guys found this helpful, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. That way you stay up to date on videos that we release on this channel. And if you guys have any suggestions on what videos we should do next, or if you have any tech tips that you need help on, make sure to put it in the comments below. But until the next one, guys, I gotta put this drone back together and get it flying again. Catch you later.